A split system is the most common type of cooling and or heating system that you're going to find in the country. Let me tell you a little bit about it. As the name implies, a split system means there's two parts to it. There's the outdoor equipment and there's the indoor equipment and they're connected to each other by a set of pipes called a line set. Let me show you what some of that looks like in a home. Here's the outdoor equipment called a condenser or heat pump. Here's the indoor equipment. It's always connected to a set of ductwork that distributes that heated or cooled air throughout the home. Here's another split system. This time the indoor equipment is installed horizontally in a crawl space. Again, ductwork's connected to it and the outdoor equipment uh, sits outside. That can be on the ground or the roof. Another split system with the indoor uh, equipment in a closet and the air can flow up through it or down through it. Another split system where the indoor equipment is in a basement and that would be an upflow furnace in this case. And another split system where we can see the indoor equipment is in an attic horizontally. Now we sell all the indoor and outdoor equipment separately. That way we can configure a system that's going to be best for you. Here is an outdoor piece of equipment. It could be a heat pump, could be an air conditioner condenser. We can't tell just by looking at it. This can go on the ground or the roof. It's always connected to the indoor equipment by a set of pipes called a line set. And these are semi-flexible so they can be distributed throughout the home. And then they solder at both ends such as here on the condenser and then to the indoor equipment inside. The indoor equipment always has one essential component to it no matter what type you choose and that is what's called an evaporator coil which is essentially a radiator of sorts that gets hot or cool depending upon if you have a condenser or heat pump type. The air is blown through it and then distributed throughout the home uh, to each room through the ductwork. Let's take a look at another setup here. Uh, the one I just showed you was, by the way, an uncased evaporator coil that would be used in a vertical situation. Here is a cased evaporator coil. You can't see it because it's in a metal case. It's connected to a modular blower, which is essentially a fan which will circulate the air through the horizontal coil. And then at each end of this setup would be ductwork connected to it. Over here we have something very similar. This is called an air handler and an air handler has the evaporator coil and the fan built all together into one complete system whereas this is actually two separate pieces of equipment which are connected to each other. This can be installed vertically or horizontally. They come in a variety of configurations. Here's an accessory that can be installed in either of these and it's called a heater coil. It essentially glows and it can provide a source of heat uh, if that's required. Over here we have a gas furnace. Uh, this could also be a propane furnace or an oil furnace. You might have one already or might need one. You can add air conditioning uh, system, split system to it if you already have one or you can start from scratch and get a new one. And on top of it we have that all important component, an evaporator coil. And this is a cased evaporator coil that's being used in a vertical installation. And again, ductwork would be connected to both ends of it. All of these systems have a fan to circulate the air through the evaporator coil and then that air circulates into the home. Now who uses a split system? Why might you want to choose one? If you have a split system and you want to upgrade and get new equipment, choose a split system again. If you have a gas furnace or an oil furnace or a propane furnace that's connected to ductwork, you want to add air conditioning to it, you would choose a split system. If you're starting from scratch on a new home construction, typically you would use a split system as well. Some of the advantages of a split system are that because they're connected to ductwork, they can evenly distribute the air throughout the home, making it especially comfortable. Also, because they're so popular, manufacturers make split system equipment, the indoor and outdoor type, available in a wide variety of choices in both capacity and efficiency. Can you install it yourself? Well, you certainly may. If you're a handy person and you feel qualified to do so, you can do 90 or 95% of that work yourself. A couple of important things to note, though, are that you can't handle the refrigerant if you have the type that uses R22 refrigerant. There's a second type of outdoor equipment that is available in a new, more environmentally friendly refrigerant called R410A. If you purchase that type, you could technically do 100% of that work yourself. No special license is needed to do that. Now, if you need help finding a contractor to do the final part of the work for you or to do the whole job, we can help you with that here at Alpine. We have a contractor assistance program. We'd be glad to put you in touch with contractors who'd be glad to give you prices to do that work. You also get a free video on DVD that'll help you out 
unlimited technical support. We honor the manufacturer's warranty 100%. You get a money-back satisfaction guarantee, low price guarantee, and free shipping on all equipment orders. If you need help, give us a call. We'd love to help you out.